gonna smoke me a fat and brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm gonna smoke me a fat and brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. I got my natural case and got the hogs on the BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some steak peppercorn sauce at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, I have three steaks here. These are uh, ribeye steaks, uh, or a uh, rib steak. Uh, great choice for any kind of uh, steak on a grill, and probably you know all about that. Right now, for this recipe, you're gonna need some garlic. You're gonna need some onion. You're gonna need some butter. Here I've got some cornstarch. And here's the magic, the black peppercorns. Oh, man. Now, you're going to need some liquor like brandy or cognac or a good whiskey. You're going to need some SPG. You're going to need some cream. Oh, man. And you're going to need some beef stock or beef broth. All right? All right. Let's get started on this recipe. Man, you getting hungry or what? <coughs> oh, yeah. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grind up these peppercorns, right? Otherwise, you're going to damage your teeth. And that's real easy to do. You can uh, use one of those uh, electric grinders. Eh, whatever. It's just as easy to use a heavy pan like this black iron pan and just crush it. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Now this is gonna release the intense flavor of the black pepper, right? Man, oh. And there's nothing that goes better with a good steak than some black peppercorn, right? All right, the peppercorns have been crushed. Oh, man. Now, we're gonna need some garlic. And we're gonna use about three cloves of garlic in this recipe, more or less. You can go three or four. You gotta have garlic, right? Good steak. And we're gonna be chopping up a smaller, medium-sized onion. And you wanna uh, chop them up pretty small. Right? Oh, yeah. Now, this is what we call a steak peppercorn sauce. This isn't just a regular old peppercorn sauce. We're gonna add steak to it. So we're gonna uh, take this third ribeye steak here, it's a smaller piece, and we're gonna uh, cut it up into real small pieces. Now, we're gonna be doing some indirect uh, grilling here, all right, so we can control the uh, heat on this. You know all about that. And we're gonna get this black iron pan real hot, throw in some good veggie oil, thanks to the Vegematics, and about a tablespoon of butter. Now we're gonna add about three tablespoons of the crushed black pepper. Get it in there, and this will really release that uh, pepper flavor. Oh, man. And then we're going to take that uh, chopped steak, throw it in there. Mm. You smell that? It smells good. <laughs> All right. Now we're just going to cook it down a bit. There's some snacking right there, but hold on. All right, the steak with the peppercorn has been cooked down, and now we're adding some cognac, about a quarter cup of cognac. You can use brandy, or you can use a whiskey. It's your choice. We're gonna flame it. This will add an additional flavor to this dish. Right? Mm -hmm. 
Are you kidding me? Now this here would go good on the on toast. Now we're gonna add that chopped onion and the three cloves of uh, chopped or minced garlic. Get it in there, mix it up. Cook it just a little bit. Get those onions translucent. Now we're going to add about two cups of beef stock. Get it in there. Mm -hmm. And here's some cream. I'm going to use about a third of a cup to a half a cup of cream. More or less. Pour it in there. Give it a good mix. Are you getting hungry or what? <laughs> and we're going to thicken it up a little bit, all right? So here I have some corn starch, and we're going to use about three teaspoons, maybe a full tablespoon. And this will uh, help thicken up this uh, beef peppercorn sauce or steak peppercorn sauce. Look at that. It'll only take a few minutes. All right, this peppercorn sauce is ready. We're gonna take it off the heat. And now we wanna prepare the steaks. But first, to keep the uh, food police from pissing and moaning, we're gonna wash down the board, right? <laughs> okay, now, these other two ribeye steaks we have here, we're gonna, of course, season them. And you always wanna season the meat first, right? And we're using some SPG. You can use just salt and pepper. And just spread it on fairly liberal. After all, this here is a pepper steak. Throw it direct on the flames at a real high heat. about um, maybe two minutes aside before we turn it. You can do your steaks the way you want. But we're gonna end up about four minutes aside on these steaks to get uh, medium rare. Are you kidding me? We'll flip it on the other side, just like that. Remember, we want high heat. We want to uh, we want to get a nice sear on the outside, real hot. We want to develop a crust, right? That's the best way. Now, of course, these steaks are still rare on the inside, so we'll go a couple more minutes. All right, and through the miracle of time, those steaks are just about done. And now we're gonna take our steak peppercorn sauce spread it out that's a meal right there right? <laughs> and we're gonna lay one of those steaks right in the middle oh, take a look at that mm. all right since this is dinner for two to pit I'm just gonna make up another plate not going to find this dish in a fancy ass restaurant. This is some real good eating right here. Mm. And we'll take that other ribeye, put it right on top. Yeah. No sides required with this meal. This is it right here. Let me cut into this to show you how medium rare it is on the inside. And of course, uh, you're cooking a fine steak like this, you definitely want to be medium rare or even rare, all right? All right, here comes the whining of the food police. You get good quality steak from a good butcher. You can eat these babies even blue. 
So here we've got a medium rare. You want to dip it in that steak peppercorn sauce. Oh man, this is going to be melt in your mouth. And of course, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but we call this Pitmaster Privilege. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Vegematics. So the next time you're looking for a steak recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.